Hi everyone, welcome back to today's video, a long time no see. Um, so before we jump into today's project, I just wanted to um, kind of chat for a second. So um, if you don't want to hear me chat and you just want to get straight to the project, jump ahead a few seconds. Because um, I'm just going to chat and kind of fill everybody in really fast. So first and foremost, I definitely wanted to say Happy New Year. I hope you guys all had a fantastic New Year so far. A um, couple days in. Hopefully this year has so much to offer everyone up ahead. Um, second thing. So my 25 days of Christmas obviously didn't go very well. <laughs> so I just wanted to talk about that really fast. Um, I did a quite a few stories on it a few weeks ago. Um, and I just wanted to kind of recap basically what I said over there. So really what ended up happening is I took on way more than I could handle for the time. Um, we went, went to California for Christmas to be with my boyfriend's family. It's something we do every single year. Um, and so we did, we had that kind of going on. So I knew I had to be planned ahead of time and that just didn't end up happening. Um, there have also just been a lot of life changes for us recently. So um, I started a new job that's been just really crazy and busy and hectic. Um, and I just, I simply couldn't keep up with posting. I had actually pre-planned and pre-filmed um, for about a week. And that's how far behind I had gotten where I was ahead a whole week and then I couldn't keep up after that. So um, I apologize that I did not get to finish that, but I just, I would have rather stopped than tried to push out um, content that I wasn't proud of and that I wasn't happy with. So all that to say, I am back to my regular um, schedule. So I will continue to post every Saturday, um, every Saturday morning from here on out. So today, to jump into today's project, we're going to be playing with some um, new products from our um, new mini catalog. So to talk about that really fast, we have two new catalogs. So the catalogs actually go live in just a couple days, so they're not live yet, so I can't show you what's inside, but we're gonna be using a few new products from there, and I'll show you guys. Are we using, yeah, we're using two new things. Um, so we have our mini catalog, our January, June, January through June catalog, which is um, if you've been around and have been a Stampin' Up! customer for a while, this is equivalent to our old occasions catalog. So we have like Valentine's Day things and Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter, um, all of that kind of stuff. So it's a really, really great catalog. If you have not received one of these from me already and you would like one sent to you completely free, please, please, please email me. I have um, some still on hand, I think. Yes, I do still have some on hand that I can send out and so if you don't have one I would love to get one in your hands um, so that you can see all of the fun new goodies and to accompany that it is also celebration time. So if you are new, you haven't been around, um, celebration is basically from January 5th to February 28th for every certain amount of money you spend, either $50 or $100, you can pick a free item from this catalog. Um, so I'll be sharing more about that later on. So to jump into today's project, um, we are going to be using the Happiest of Birthdays stamp set, which is not from the new catalog. This has been around. Uh, and we're going to be creating this fun little birthday card. I love it. It's super cute. I, I just, I adore it. Um, so one of the main focal points in here, let's zoom in, not one of the focal points, I guess I don't know if that's the right word to use, but um, one thing that I think makes this card really fun and pop is this amazing designer series paper, which is a new product. So here I'll show you the little sheet that I've already cut for the one that we're going to make together today. This is from the, uh, what is it, Ice Cream Corner designer series paper. And I am actually doing a paper share right now. So I wanted to talk about that really fast also. And then I swear I will get into the video. <laughs> um, so my paper share, it is live right now. So there will be a link down in the description box below. Um, you can also go to littlemooncreation.com slash shop and you will be able to um, see the paper share there. It is $23 plus shipping um, and it is 90 sheets of six by six paper. So paper that is bigger than this piece right here, you get 90 sheets for $23. Um, and 22 of those sheets are actually free because they come from the celebration catalog and I'm not charging you guys to for what I have to spend to get the free paper out of that catalog, if that makes sense. So it's actually a really, really, really great deal. So if you are interested, it will only be around for a limited amount of time. So make sure you um, head over there. Like I said, there will be a link in the description box below to um, get in on that. So let's go ahead and start with today's project. So 
as you can see here, we're doing this fun technique with our uh, sentiment here where we're doing this in three different colors. I loved doing this, especially with this stamp set or with this stamp. It was just so much fun to do. So let me zoom out. Ooh, you can really see how dirty my stamp mm -hmm. is. Hey, I'm going to zoom out enough so that you guys can see what's going on here. Okay, so... First and foremost, you have to use the Stamparatus with this. I mean, you could maybe use something else. Um, if you're really good at lining up clean stamps, have a better way to do it, go for it. But in my opinion, you have to use your Stamparatus for this one. It just, you have to. So I'm gonna take just a piece here of Whisper White and I don't, this isn't a specific dimension or anything because we're gonna be cutting this out. Um, but I'm just going to place this down and I like to do mine in the corner so that in the event the paper moves around a bit, um, I can place it right back where it was. So I put a magnet on one side and then I put another magnet right below where the stamp is to hopefully keep it in place as best as possible. And actually, now that I'm thinking about this, I need to probably center it a bit more. So we're gonna scooch it down and do one up top and one below. Because we are going to be cutting this out with a die, I don't want to get too close to the edge, is what I was thinking. So that should be good. I'm going to pick this up with my Stamparatus. And now for the fun part. So that's really not very straight. I guess it doesn't really truly matter because I'm going to be cutting it out so I can just move it when I place my die. Anyway, so I'm going to be doing this in three different colors and all I'm going to do is use some good old scotch tape to help me out. So I'm going to start from top to bottom just because it's easiest in my mind and what I'm going to do is the first three words wishing you the I'm going to do in one color. So anything that is not one of those three words I am covering in scotch tape. If you've never done this like masking technique before, it's really, really easy to do. <coughs> Ooh, I have like a tickle in my throat. Um, It's really easy to do. The main thing is that you just have to make sure you cover up all of the little pieces. So like I have a little tiny piece of the T over here. So you want to make sure you put something there. And then I have this H that's kind of going up a bit. So you want to make sure you put something there to cover it up also without getting any of the other words that you actually want, right? So I'm gonna start off with Petal Pink. And I'm going to, with the scotch tape on here, I'm gonna ink this up really, really nicely. Okay, that should be good. Then we're going to peel the scotch tape off. Make sure you peel it off. I see people do this a lot where they try to go and do this technique and they forget to peel the scotch tape off. I myself have done it before. Um, so, I mean, I'm not judging or anything, I've done it. Um, but you have to peel the scotch tape off or it's not gonna work. And then you just stamp it down. So now all we did was we stamped those first two words. Then we're basically gonna continue that same um, technique through the rest of the project. Mm -hmm. There, maybe you guys can see a little bit better there if I zoom in on just this one little area. So now we're going to do happiest in another color. So I'm gonna cover everything that's not that happiest. And I don't worry about cleaning my stamp during this um, because it's just the scotch tape that I'm gonna throw away anyway. And if you can tell, I like to go and do the bigger pieces first and then I go in and see what's kind of left over and then I'll cover those up. So we'll do this little piece right here. Scooch this over just a smidge. I'm gonna do another little piece here. So it does take a lot of scotch tape <laughs> to do this, but I mean, in my mind, scotch tape isn't that expensive. Um, you probably have some lying around from just wrapping Christmas presents too. So, you know, there's that. Oh, you know what? I did happiest of, so I don't need to cover the of up. That's right, okay. So I'm just kind of double checking, making sure everything looks nice and covered. And I think I am good. So now I'm going to take Bermuda Bay 
And again, we're just going to ink this stamp up. Okay, well, this piece came up, so that's not the greatest. I have just a little bit down here that needs stamped. So I'm just going to get that little bit. And then we should be good. So peel this off. Throw it in the garbage. And then we will stamp this piece down. And honestly, it may seem a little bit more complicated than it actually is. Um, it's actually pretty easy to do. When you, when I'm sitting here explaining it over and over, why don't this piece stamp well? When I'm explaining it over and over, it can seem a little crazy and a little bit more difficult than it actually is. But it's a really simple technique to do, I swear. Um, okay, and then we're going to do the last piece, which is just birthday. So, just get a bunch of big pieces. Cover those all up. And then a couple pieces here. I get quiet because I'm really concentrating on making sure I cover this up correctly because I have done it before where I haven't covered it up 100% correctly and then you get some little boo-boos that don't look all that great. Um, let me just give it a once over. I think I am good. So now I'm going to take Blackberry Bliss and we are just going to stamp birthday. Oh yeah, I forgot I need to re-ink my Blackberry Bliss stamp pad. So this may not turn out the best, but it's not because it's my fault because I forgot that I really need to re-ink this stamp pad. So we'll see how we do. I'll move it around a bit because I think there are some areas that are still nice and juicy. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to peel all of this off. Again, this just goes straight into the garbage. And then right down onto my piece of Whisper White. Looks pretty good. I knew this little piece over here was going to be not the best because I couldn't really get ink there. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good. So you can use this technique. Um, with any stamp, honestly. I've done this with tons and tons and tons of different things. And it doesn't have to be red rubber. You can do it with a photopolymer stamp and it works just the same. I actually think it works a little bit better with photopolymer because the photopolymer um, kind of clings the tape a little bit better so you don't have issues where you, your tape may move a bit. Um, but it works really well. It's one of my favorite techniques to do. I don't do it often enough. Um, but if you use something like a Stamparatus, it's so easy to do and it literally takes no time at all. So I'm going to flip that around. I'll clean that off later. So now we have our piece here and let's go ahead and cut them out, cut it out. So I'm going to be using um, the Stitch So Sweetly dies and I'm going to be using these little rectangle frames. These are the two of the the two largest frames in that set. Um, and then I have a piece here of Blackberry Bliss cardstock. It is yes, Blackberry Bliss. I don't know why I keep second guessing it. Blackberry Bliss. So these are the two largest frames. The larger of the two is going to go with Blackberry Bliss and the smaller of the two is going to go with the piece that we just um, stamped on. I am also going to be using my fun little mini cut and emboss. If y'all haven't seen this yet, it is the most adorable thing. Um, it's super, super tiny. I love it. It's like seriously, absolutely adorable. I think I may have to, yeah, I need to trim this piece of Blackberry Bliss to make it fit in here. Um, but I love this thing. So I had it for a few weeks. I haven't played around with it a ton, um, but it's so nice and easy and convenient. It's super tiny, super lightweight. Um, and I just keep it in the drawer of my desk so that as I am doing projects, I can just pull it out and it's super easy and convenient. So I'm going to run the Blackberry Bliss through first. And it's just like the big cut and boss machine. Nothing special about it. Other than that, it's super teeny tiny. 
And the plates are super tiny. I just think it's so adorable. I love it. So now we're gonna do this piece, and this one you're gonna line up a little bit better than the Blackberry Bliss one. The Blackberry Bliss doesn't really matter. Um, let's see. I'm just looking. I think that should be pretty good as far as spacing goes. Oops, I just dropped the other die on the floor, but it's fine. And crank this guy through. I just like how tiny it is, and it's just so, so, so convenient to keep on my desk. Like, I literally keep it on my desk or in my drawer. I have the um, Alex drawers, so this desk is built um, with two Alex drawers basically as like main legs. I don't know. I'll sh eventually get around to doing like an office tour one day. Um, but it's super easy and it'll fit. The machine fits right in the biggest drawer. It's adorable. Anyway, since we have these pieces, let's go ahead and attach them. So I'm going to be using stamp and seal plus because we are going to be using plus um, in a minute when we put our little ribbons on. So I'm just going to center these up and that's going to be our sentiment for this card. Super stinking adorable, right? Okay. Now let's take that adorable piece of designer series paper that we were uh, looking at earlier. I love this y'all. Like I think it's so pretty. This whole entire designer series paper pack. I love. Um, so I'm going to grab my scotch tape again because this is how we roll and I'm just gonna do two lines of ribbon so I think I want my first one to be right about there okay and then I'm gonna cross it over and back and then do my second one right about there that looks pretty dang good to me I usually do this with the ribbon attached to the spool still. You can cut it if it's easier for you. I just, I find it easier to just keep it attached. So that's just something to note if you are like, oh my gosh, I can't keep it attached and do all the ribbons and stuff. You don't have to, you can totally cut it. Um, so now all we're gonna do is put this card together. So I'm gonna take, this is a piece of Purple Posy. Um, cardstock. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. I'm going to take my stamp and seal plus again. So because I have ribbons on the back, I'm using plus like I was saying a second ago. Um, I this is just what I find works really well. I don't find that you have to use dimensionals or anything. I've talked about this a 100 times before I feel like especially recently because I've been doing this quite a bit. Um, I just put a ton of adhesive on the back and it sticks really well for me. I haven't had any issues with things lifting or moving around. Um, I wouldn't say you could do this with like a super thick ribbon, but for these thinner ribbons, it works perfectly fine. Um, and I really like the look of it. So now we're gonna flip this bad boy over, put some more adhesive on the back. Put this on our card base and this is also blackberry bliss um, to match the little frame that we just cut out okay. I'm gonna take a second to score up or to score on my card base then I'm gonna take our little sentiment here and I'm just gonna put this on um, with some dimensionals so we'll put a bunch of dimensionals on the back just like so maybe almost there Whew. and we're just gonna take this bad boy stick it right down in the center like that and that is our card for today, guys. So I really, really, really hope you enjoy today's project. As always, you can find all of the projects, um, all the project, all of the products that I've mentioned today um, 
just by going to littlemooncreation.stampinup.net. You can purchase them 24 seven. Don't forget about my awesome paper share. So the link will be in the description box below to go and check that out. Um, it'll only be around for a limited amount of time. So if you are interested in make sure you go and grab it sooner rather than later. And I am shipping those out um, right now. I have, um, I can ship them out right away. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.